right guys, I'm gonna do kind of a vlog here. I haven't did one in so long, and I don't even know if you can hear me right now because of the tire, the noise. So I'm not gonna talk right now, I'll talk more when I get in the trail where it's a little more quieter. This is one spot of the trail we can go into. I'm gonna go down the way and, and we'll, sh we'll take this way the back way. Cause it takes a while to get to the trail taking this dirt road. But right down this road here is another trail and I'll stop there and I'll tell you about the two spots there that you can ride. You can probably hear me better now. I've been busy. I've, we've been busy. This is my family here behind me. Uh, probably do names and stuff later in the future. I don't know if they want to be in the videos or not, but we have bought some property up here. So I'm going to be probably doing more vlogging, vlogging videos about being up here when I'm up here. Um, we've been blessed. We've got some beautiful acreage. There is plenty of land and riding trails up here. So, this was, never that, that been down that way. Right. All right. I'm gonna pause you here. Well, I'll talk to these guys for a minute. You don't need to hear all this. All right, I'm back. Hopefully it hit play. If it didn't, I'll be bummed. I'm gonna be talking to myself. Okay, so we have just purchased a bunch of pro uh, uh, some acreage and we got a bunch of trail we got a bunch of trails um, we got some river access I'll probably show those videos later on um, if you watched any of my previous videos you'll see me doing a drone video 
this pretty much a drone overhead of my camping area and of the uh, river that we have. But yeah, oh, I'm just, just so blessed and thankful to have this. Just let everybody's safe about it. So everybody's got quads now. We'll be getting more. We got side by side still back at the camp. Two other quads. My little boy D, Darren, and Kaya didn't make it. Just showing the uh, the younger kids here. So if they picture this by themselves, they know kind of where they're going. I feel responsible <laughs> if they come out here and ride and get lost. And I don't want that. I don't know, I guess being a, being a dad, my dad just what said, there you go, get those trails to go tear it up, go explore it. Well, we got a strip porta potty in there, deal. But yeah, this is, this is the good life. This is the good life. I was just riding on the road. That's yeah, legal. That is actually legal. noises someone lost a ground wire there so they're not having a good day at some point good you're my good Good? Yeah, it's just a pain in the ass when I stop. Yep. This quad's not idling. He just got that quad and the uh, idling screw is gummed up. It runs good when you're on it, but as for uh, it idling, it, it doesn't want to idle. So we gotta tear the car apart. Clean the eyeliner screw, put it back in, it should be good to go. But I'm the same way. If mine wasn't running right, I'd still run it. Ah. I mean, especially with this eyeliner screw, that's just a simple issue, other than you gotta tear it apart. We're not doing it here in the woods. But I explored this here, man, two, three weeks ago. I went across the streetway. Came over here, I was gone for about an hour. Thought how long we'll be gone here, probably. And that maybe did 1% of the trails, which is, which is awesome. Everything's welcomed out here. Anything that has the Oral-V stickers. So you gotta have the stickers. And uh, yeah, and your machine's good to go. You're right on the side of the road supposed to be on the side, not on the road, but on the side of the road. Same thing on the trails, we do 25 mile an hour. I'm sure people get away with it here and there, ripping, but. But like I said, side by side, it's dirt bikes. And mainly, I think what we're gonna see out here in riding in the future videos is side by sides. Because when I came out here that one day, I saw probably 
dozen, no, not a dozen, probably six, yeah, half a dozen, six side-by-sides, zero quads, and I've come across one, two, three, four, four campsites where people are camping out here on the trails, maybe, maybe five. clean up here this fresh air I'll show you what it looks like back there <laughs> it's dusty I hate riding to that here they show all that dust well, it's not too bad seen worse but it's pretty dusty back there but again I'm only doing probably 20 15 mile an hour we got back here I'm on my Raptor 700 we got the uh, 2008 Honda TRX 400 that we have I believe it's a 2001 2002 Honda four tracks I say TRX yeah TRX four tracks no it's a four tracks 400 EX of course the other one's a TRX Honda 400 same thing just different plastics and then the young lady back there, she is on a Honda, no, it's a Polaris Sportsman, I believe, 450. Four-wheel drive, really nice quad. Someone camped up there, it's a nice little camping spot. mentioned in my videos how much I love my suspension oh my gosh I just love this setup a little camping spot people camping at Somebody we at the river. Tenor. So the river is right there. Oh, it's not the river, that's a lake. It's a lake that's right there.
lake and then a river right there. Show them this little spot, see what they think. I'm gonna pause the video and talk to them for a while. All right, here we go.
said uh, I'll probably be doing some more blogging solo rides uh, blogging with more you know with these with my cousins and nieces and nephew again cousins from, will be later on so they got side by sides uh, more of a utility side by side not the big uh, you know racers I don't know any of that stuff It's all about my suspension. I mean, I can, oh, I can just one hand it. It's, oh, Elka, that's what's up. Very heavy with these legacy shocks. They're not even the big, the, uh, what is it, the Series 5. These are more closer to like a Series 2, Series 3. Oh my gosh, I just, I love them. We were just talking back there about shocks and uh, they got the TRX4 has got pogo shocks. Okay, he was complaining about how rough it is. Well, yeah, you know, they're expensive, but they are worth it. Because the other one's got the uh, 450R front shocks. Guy who's directly behind me right now it's, it's his first quad he's rode them he's got experience riding you know off-road vehicles but that is literally his first quad Just fucking off. Go ahead. Go that way. Oh, he died. Dude's gonna be like, Daddy, is there fish in there? <laughs> Can we go fish? That's what he's wanting to do right now is fish. So I'm gonna head back. These guys can come out here and ride if they want, but we're gonna go down the river, sit in the river, have a beer, cast a pole in the, cast a pole in the 
whatever. One of these days I'll stop and take a better look at the sign. or anything but again it's it's really dusty you really gotta be a trooper to go out in this dust like this it's one thing to solar ride but when you're in the dust all day it's not fun oh wow what is that is that a hawk or an eagle i hope the camera picked it up it was a big bird Solo run at night flying through here, oh man. 
I need some better lights for my Raptor though. I got the factory lights. I put LEDs in them. Yeah, it's a factory housing. And I put the LEDs in them. They're bright when you're looking at me. But when you are uh, on it looking out, you can't see for shit. Really dull. It's not like bright, but it's not bright. It's just you just see like a light. I might need to adjust them more or get different lights. If you're someone who's watching this and you got upgraded lights in your Raptors, tell me what you got and what you like. I would appreciate it. I really don't want to go crazy. I want, I want everything factory to work. Tearing it up, but man, I just 
where I'm from back home, you can't, you can't do this. It's great that they allow us.